the trellis stitch pattern for you now from this um, collection. So um, another one based on a square grid. So I put my square grid in, grid in here and I want to show you how you can use the different stitches um, to build up a pattern within your grid now. So I've got my square grid and I'm going to use green thread. I'm going to do a couple of stitches in this one now and start to build up this pattern. So I'm going to work some stitches in between these stitches from the grid now. So I'm coming up not quite in the middle of that square, just below the middle and I'm going to go vertically down to the next grid again, not quite in the middle. And I'm going to do four of those coming outside and into the middle of that square there. I'm just leaving myself a little space because I'm going to come and put another stitch in the middle of there. So as carefully as you can, not quite in the centre, just off centre, and it is only just off centre. So I've got four little stitches into the centre there. Now put all of these stitches in first before you put the next layer of stitches in. So I'm going to do the same now for these squares. It doesn't matter too much what order you work these in really. I'm just going to work around the ones that I've started to finish that second one off. Don't forget the centre of your square here. This is a kind of half square because it's on the edge so where the center would be, not where it actually is. So that you keep those stitches the same length. And let's put this one in now. I'm just going to fill the whole grid in with these green stitches first. Making little crosses in each one, joining them all up. And then I'll show you how to put the second stitch in. Okay, so that's the last of my second set of stitches on this. So my grid is the first, then I've put some straight stitches on that second grid. Get rid of my ends. And now I'm going to go for a third stitch, so I'm going to do a French knot. You could do a colonial knot if you like, or a French knot videos on both of those if you need to know how to do those. And I'm going to change colour again. Now you do have to be aware with this that the more colours you put in, the more complex these grids you put, more colours you put in, the more the colours mix together. So think a little bit about what colours you put together so that you don't get a big mush of the same colour. So I'm just going to come up now. There's my centre of the green stitches. We just left a tiny little gap there. And I'm going to put my French knot in there. Now some of these will come out the same colour. I've got a variegated thread here, so doing a bit of experimenting, but that's okay. Just going to fill in the middle. They're coming out quite small. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times, that's better, make a bigger knot and everywhere I've just got the centre of those green threads. Okay, put a French knot in there. Try and get them nice and central. You can get really quite experimental with these grids and make up some patterns of your own and some colours of your own choosing. There really is an endless combination of grids and colours so you'll never get bored of these. Start to see the colours coming out there and I'm just going to fill the rest of that in. So there we go, um, my finished trellis, um, one grid, 
one layer of stitches over the top finished off with French knots in the middle. Have a bit of fun playing around with that one. <laughs> 